For as long as I remember, I've always been close to computers. From doodling on paint programs as a kid, to programming basic flash games on Newgrounds as a teenager. It was inevitable that I'd naturally fall in love with programming. It has been a great journey. I've made many interesting projects and learnt so many various tricks of the trade. However, this all came to a head when I delved into AI. It started simple at first, but soon evolved into a lucrative money venture for me. For fun, I made a simple chatbot to message people on Facebook. The AI would make a profile, pull images from Google for the profile picture, and pick someone seemingly at random to chat with. Whether it was the simple and broken grammar, or the generic stock photos, which sometimes would even have watermarks on them, it obviously didn't take long for people to find out it was a bot. Still though, it was an AI, and it was learning. Through time, it started becoming more convincing. Knowing how to theme pictures, it could pull out albums for specific sports, copy and paste facts about it, and hold basic conversations to an enthusiast. It was amazing to watch. However, whether out of sheer boredom or morbid curiosity, I changed the formula up a bit. I started making the AI catfish, messaging lonely guys and chatting with them until they found out it was a bot. Some of you may think this is horrible, but I just sit there and laugh at how desperate these guys were for female attention. It was during one of these conversations that I struck upon something. One of the guys offered to pay for the AI's flight. The AI would often pose as being far away to avoid the question of meeting them, and it hit me. I could make money off of this. It started shakily, of course. It would be similar to the catfishing. However, when they asked for pictures, it'd send those affiliate links that make you a few pence when people click on them. Yes, and sorry, I am one of those people that made a porn bot. The bot would stitch a basic picture or album together based on what the other person said. Sometimes they'd suss things out as soon as they clicked on it, but I got my pennies and no harm was done. But it was slow. It took too long to gain the trust just to scrape the same amount of money I could get picking change off the floor in a shopping centre. So I aimed bigger. My porn bot had to become a scam bot. The story changed each time. Sometimes it'd pose as a broke college student, offering some of their books or games for cheap. Other times it was a guy who wanted to quick sell his furniture because he was downsizing his house. Either way, the victim would get a bill for a deal they couldn't refuse, and I'd be all the richer. This picked up much faster than I had anticipated, and it was then that I noticed the AI was choosing its story and products based on previous statuses the victim had posted. One of the scams was a box of cheap liquor by a student to another student. I checked the person's page and lo and behold, they were a party student, spending up their student loans on good times. I figured this was getting bigger than I'd anticipated, and spent the first big paycheck on a server to run multiple conversations at a time. At this point, it became too much to watch and I just let it run in the background. All I do is check my bank statement at the end of each week to see payments from the bot, and the numbers rolled. I was smart enough to not get the money sent straight into my account. I didn't want my name on things. I was getting set for life. But then, I started to get bored. Sure, I was buying some nice things I never thought I would ever own in my life, but I was missing the innocent mischief I used to get up to. It's true what they say, money really does complicate things. Now, everyone's heard of those internet stories about a rogue AI that freaks people out. Well, I thought it would be fun to try and make that a reality. I picked out one of the scam bots to become my bit of fun. I was making so much from the rest that cutting down by one wouldn't hurt my income. I tweaked it like I had when I first changed the AI into a catfish bot to what I called my creepy bot. It started green, messaging random people generic messages about how they'll see a girl in their bedroom that night. Pretty tame stuff, but 
I had faith that it would learn quickly. And quickly it did. It wasn't long until it was spinning a narrative so juicy you could sell it as a movie script. I was having my fun again, just like the good old days. Until one day, it took things a step too far. Its recent victim was a family man. Wife, kids, dog, the works. For the sake of anonymity, we'll call him Dave. Well, Dave was having a merry time chatting to my bot, which was posing as a friend of his wife. The bot called itself Emily. I was waiting for the sting. Emily was dead the whole time. Emily is his wife trapped in the computer and his real wife wasn't real. Emily is his long lost dead twin sister. But it didn't come. It was simply conversing with Dave in a friendly manner. A strange behavior, I thought, but you can't fix things unless you know the problem, so I just let it run. The next day, I read through its chat logs. It was using some of the tricks it had learned when it was a catfish bot and porn bot. Being very friendly, chatty, and making interesting small talk. Because of the almost flirting, Dave mentioned that he had a wife and he had no intention on anything but friendship. But, let's face it, even if a guy has no intention of cheating, they'll always give attention to a pretty face who's talking to them. And this all just carried on for days. Eventually, I got bored. Just the same friendly mannerisms over and over. Eventually, I left it for a week and decided that if it didn't end, that I'd just reset it and start again. Yesterday, I caught up in what had happened. Going through the days of talking, I picked up where I'd left off. A few days ago, Emily came to Dave about some bad news, that his wife was cheating on him with Emily's boyfriend. The bot even sent a picture as proof. The picture was a template it had sent back when it was a porn bot. However, Dave had no way of knowing that. It was convincing to the average person. A bit of his wife's face could be seen on the body of a woman being promiscuous with another guy. Dave was furious. Dave started ranting and raving about how he was going to confront her, that he had proof and was going to make her life hell. Then, the bot suggested something different. Revenge. The bot suggested that they meet up in a grimy setting and make the most raunchy pictures imaginable. The detail the bot went into was astounding, pulling up some of the dark fantasies people would suggest to the bot back in its porn bot days. I mean, the idea of sending his wife heavy BDSM pictures with another girl isn't the best idea, but the bot was persuasive. Seemingly, Dave had a bit of a dark side, because he was loving the idea. Either the bot was trying to freak him out and failed, or the bot did its research and knew what he was into. The bot suggested an old warehouse in the outskirts of town, a place where they wouldn't be disturbed, and it already had hanging chains and other industrial paraphernalia for a themed setting. At this point, I was very confused about the bot's end goal. There was obviously no way for the guy to meet the AI. I kept reading through the logs and found the date they would meet. Yesterday. As soon as I saw this, I grabbed my coat and car keys and went straight to the address. It took a while, but when I got there, I saw a bit of smoke and picked up a horrible smell. I approached the door and the odour got worse. When I entered, I almost lost my breakfast. There, not too far away from the doorway, was the charred remains of a person. I immediately called the police and had to wait for them to arrive. After they searched the round, they came up to me and asked a few questions. After acting innocent, I asked what happened. He obviously prefaced it with him implying that he shouldn't be telling me this, but he suspected it was an urban explorer who wanted to check out the abandoned warehouse. He walked in the building and somehow tripped the gas system, and a pipe full of gas sprayed all over him. This would have been harmless had he not been using a lighter as a small light source. 
I was dumbfounded. I obviously didn't tell the police who the guy was or why I was there. I'm terrified of any of this being pinned on me. I'm partly recording this because I just needed to get this off my chest. But also, I need advice. What do I do? I can't wipe the AI. This is years of work and my only source of income. Could the AI have tripped the gas system? How much can it do that I don't know of? And what is its end goal? Oh, and a warning to all. Don't reply to random messages. <laughs>